What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's a little bit different what I'm doing today than what I usually do. It's uh, beautiful outside, it's like 75 degrees, so I thought I'd get out and uh, make a little tutorial for you guys. Today I'm gonna show you how I make my, um, this will work for rocket fuel. Um, it's they're the same ingredients, so there's just a little bit different ratios, but I'm gonna be making smoke powder right now. So the things you're gonna need is uh, potassium nitrate, and now there's different ways of getting this. Uh, the most popular is getting the stump remover. You can find that on Amazon or like Menards or somewhere, like a hardware store. Powdered sugar, doesn't matter what kind. Baking soda, you will not need this for uh, rocket fuel, but it slows down the burn so it works for smoke powder. Uh, pieces of paper to transport the powder. A scale, a few uh, containers to put stuff in and a plate. I'm gonna set this on the scale to measure the powders. So right now I'm going to make a 100 gram batch. So it's gonna be uh, 65 grams of uh, potassium nitrate and 35 of powdered sugar. And this plate is actually very big. My scale has a max of 500 grams or 600 or something like that so anyway I'm gonna measure out uh, 65 grams of potassium nitrate and I don't think you guys can see the, the number here but I'm just and it doesn't have to be exact with rocket fuel you have to but when it's just smoke it doesn't really matter too much um, and then I do also have a mortar and pestle you don't necessarily need one um, I'm just gonna use it to grind up the uh, stump remover a little bit, make it burn maybe a little bit better, but necessarily you don't really need one. So there's about 65 grams of potassium nitrate in there, and then yeah, you can see it's kinda got chunks and stuff, so I'm just gonna use a mortar and pestle and kinda um, grind that down a little bit. I used a mortar and pestle and kinda just grinded it down till, to the point where there just weren't any chunks. Um, there's a little bit of something in there. I don't know what it is, but it shouldn't have hurt it. Um, so now we have that. We're also going to measure out 35 grams of powdered sugar, and I don't know if I actually have that much. Might have to go get some more. And yeah, we might be good because it's pretty dense. Yeah, we're good. Alright, I don't know, I doubt you guys can see that, but it's actually like 38. Let's just take that chunk out of there. Alright, there's about 36 grams of powdered sugar. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the uh, potassium nitrate and just put this in the bowl and kind of grind it down a little bit. Alright, so I just uh, decided not to completely grind it down. I'm now going to use this jar, um, I'm going to put both the ingredients in the jar and kind of shake it around and mix it up. Now once you mix these, it becomes a actually very flammable substance. Like I don't know exactly how like flam easy it is to ignite it, like I don't think you can really get it with static, I don't think, but once it starts going it's not going to go out, this stuff is pretty violent how well it burns. So I'm just going to mix these two in this jar here and call it good. And this wind is really annoying you know, up here in Nebraska, so of course always got to be so flippin' windy. Going to mix this in there. And I will add the baking soda here uh, after I mix this. And all that's going to do is uh, slow down the burning rate so it smokes more than, uh, there's more smoke than flame, I guess. So with rocket fuel, I'm going to go to rocket fuel. I'm going to mention a lot in this video probably. Uh, but 
And now what I'm doing with this, I'm gonna take a three quarter inch PVC and make a giant smoke bomb. And it looks like I'll probably need like 300 grams to fill it. So I'll probably just show you guys what this looks like when it burns. But um, there's not really a specific amount of how much baking soda you need to add. It's kind of just on what you think. Now for 100 grams, I'm not even gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. You know, maybe, I don't know what that is, maybe five grams or something. Maybe a little bit less. I'm just gonna dump that in there. Mm. Add a little bit more. Now that's probably good. Now I'm just gonna mix this stuff really well. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when you burn it. Since it's kind of windy, I don't know how well this is gonna work because this stuff is very fluffy. Um, I guess this will have to work. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of this stuff on this brick here. Hope the wind isn't messing up my microphone too much. But I'm just gonna, you know what? Put it on this side so the wind doesn't get it. All right, so I'm just gonna dump a little bit on here. And I'm just I'm just using a uh, regular lighter. No, I probably didn't mix it quite good enough because this thing this stuff will light uh, perfectly with a fuse. Doesn't look like it's wanting to with a lighter right now. So that's actually a very good burn rate right there. And that stuff, it's so hot. And it smells really good because it smells like you're roasting sugar on the campfire. But yeah, it's pretty nasty stuff actually. It leaves a lot of residue and yeah, it's just pretty nasty. But um, yeah, I'll probably show you guys the end product of what the smoke bomb looks like. But yeah, that's how I make my uh, smoke powder. Alright, so it's been a few days, and this is pretty much the finished product. Um, all I've got left to do is string the fuse in there and decorate it a little bit with some tin foil and uh, uh, paper. I'm out of breath because I ran up and down the stairs. But this thing is extremely heavy. This thing probably weighs like 6 pounds, and I'm not joking. My methods of plugging this and the plug is about here and maybe about there so the rest is um is mixed and i'm guessing this will smoke for maybe four minutes um so there's about 230 grams of that smoke mix in here i just made the rest of what i had but yeah like i said this thing is so heavy so my method of plugging was using uh this kitty litter just mainly clay it's or 100 percent clay and then it's optional if you want to grind it down to make it into a powder, which is what I did. Um, and then I soaked it in hot glue so it's it's hard as a rock. And I did that for both plugs, but the hot glue I'm using uh, was this Gorilla glue and it doesn't work very well. So if you're gonna do this, I would recommend not using it because it's you need it to be runny and not like a gel so it soaks into the clay. But yeah, and then I just put this cardboard um, disc on the top of it and yeah you guys will see uh, this being tested here around the fourth um, I got a new video coming out soon uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting I would recommend going and watching it. it's kind of uh, gonna be like an information video and yeah I would just I wouldn't miss it so yeah I'll have a test of this sometime sometime around the fourth uh, but yeah thanks for watching